Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Filmington. It's a little bit later than usual. It's the 14th of the month, but the Rookie Card Explosion Box lineups for April are here. And I'm hoping to ship those out in the mail for the most part tomorrow, which is going to be Monday, the 15th of April. Some might be shipped out on the 16th. By the way, these are entirely sold out, so no one-time purchases or subscriptions will be available um, from this point forward. But those will be reloaded on the 1st of May for at least original baseball and high-end baseball football. Football tends to be tough to come by. Um, all right, so I don't have this to show because for the first time ever, I actually included the golden, uh, golden ticket prize in the actual box because it fit, because it was just one pack. But uh, as I mentioned on Facebook and Twitter, I pulled the Bowman Chrome Pearl Pack from a uh it was in one of the uh hobby boxes of 23 bowman chrome that we used either last month or the month previous and these fall actually one in every 10 hobby cases so it is a pearl pack um so one lucky winner the golden ticket prize winner for this month will get that pack and it'll be included directly in the box um all right i think we can get started with the lineups guys um Let's get started with high-end baseball. By the way, guys, a few people reached out to me. Um, it wasn't just one person. It was two individuals that thought that the uh, high-end lineup was lackluster or just like below average for this month. And th there, there's two different ways that people arrive to that conclusion. Either it's because of the value of the packs or it's because just, I don't know, the, the packs just don't yield a whole lot of hits. And from a value perspective... I did, um, and I double-checked, I did hit right in the middle of that range with regards to value that I try to include each month. So when I pick out a uh, lineup of packs, whether it be the original or the high-end or football, I'm always shooting for a specific range of market value, and that is not based on my cost. That's based on the market value at time of inclusion when I set those lineups, basically. When I, when I lock the lineups around the 5th or the, or the 10th of the month. Uh, this month it was actually a little bit later because I was trying to kind of get a gauge of who's hot and you don't really know that sometimes. It takes a little bit for things to shake out. You know, O'Neill Cruz, it's a home run opening day. Then all of a sudden Bobby Witt has like a 900 slugging percentage. So you're trying to, you know, wait till the dust settles a little bit. So anyways, um, not to go on a tangent there, but Based on the value of the packs, I did hit that range for high end, but I do think, you know, looking at it, it's going to be a very boom or bust month, as is the case anyways with high end baseball. But in this case, there's going to be a lot of people that don't pull autos, a lot of people that won't pull hits. So, and this tends to happen when I have packs that are like 50 to $60 and up per pack. When you do that, um, you're going to get a lot of kind of high ceiling, but also kind of low floor with some of those outcomes and with some of the older packs. That's definitely the case as well. So this month I did include two packs that are in between like the 55 to $65 range. And um, after that, you know, you can't expect too much after that in order to, you know, meet the uh, the market value range I'm going for, given that I sell these things for 160. So uh, let's uh, you know cut through the BS and let's uh, show what I'm talking about here. So high end baseball, we've got <clears throat> these mega boxes. They come with seven packs, two of which are Chrome exclusive packs, right? Two of which are Chrome exclusive packs. And um, so in order for me to like figure out well what's the value of a Chrome pack. What I do is I subtract out from the market value of this entire thing, which is 160 to 180. Maybe in March you could have got lucky before Moogie Betts went crazy uh, at 140, 150. So let's just say 160 to 180, blowout selling them for like 200, I think, right now. So you take those five base paper packs, which by the way still offer parallels, but they only have eight cards each in them. Um, Look like this, right? These are the base paper retail packs. Uh, I can still pull out a Mookie Betts or DeGrom um, from here. And um, I think those paper packs are worth about 10 bucks at most 12. And that's because you can buy a hobby box and get the hobby packs for about for, for under 15. 
So if the hobby packs are worth under 15, and those have 10 cards in them, then these retail packs can't really be worth that much more than 10, maybe 12 max. So let's just say 12. You know, let's be conservative here and say that's 12. So 12 times 5, that's 60. Subtract 60 from, what did I say, 160 to 180 for these boxes. So let's say the, the midpoint, 170. So if you sub subtract 60 from 170, you get 110. And that leaves you with those two chrome packs. Um, so 110 divided by 2 is 55. So about 55 bucks um, for, you know, those chrome packs. Now, is it worth it? Um, are, you gonna, are you guaranteed to pull an autograph? No. But the nice thing about these packs and the reason why these mega boxes cost what they do is because the Chrome update checklist, I think, is only 55 players or 55 cards deep. So, I mean, the chance of people, people are going to pull Mookies from this. Um, the chances are less than 10%, right? Because I think each of those Chrome packs has like four cards in it. So, but, but I mean, the, the chances are still pretty decent. I mean, relative to, you know, uh, a normal kind of chase. If you compare that with like Soto from 2018 Topps Chrome Update, they didn't um, print nearly as many of these foxes as they did with 2018. And you'll see that on the pop reports when you see like the Soto versus the Mookie. So, and I believe there's also the rookie debut. There's also the DeGrom and there's chances to pull numbered Mookies and, uh, and DeGroms as well. So, I mean, I've been holding on to this product for quite some time and try to you know find a perfect time to feature it and to be honest like this this has come down a lot since i purchased it it was part of a black friday sale like two and a half years ago and um at the time i'm like well these are too expensive to feature in the rcb even the high-end one but come down enough where in mookie's hut i figured the time was right and i wanted to have a mookie chase and i wanted to not include my other choice would have been another jumbo pack of 14 update I already did that two months ago. I don't want to do it again. I want to keep things interesting. So that's high-end pack number one of the high-end lineup. And then number two is going to be 22 Bowman Sapphire. Um, one and eight will pull an autograph. And Ellie De La Cruz is doing special things right now. So I think batting average above 300. He's shown quite a bit of power, which he didn't really show last year. And um, we're seeing the upside. We're seeing the same 33% K rate as he showed last year in the uh, the big leagues. But that's, you know, that's an expensive pack. And then the other two packs we're going to go with, you know, I, I was very, when I select these lineups, especially high end, I try, I try to make sure each pack has a purpose. And this month, it's four packs in the total lineup, which doesn't seem like a lot. But if you look back five months, I think I've been alternating between four packs and six packs. So I try to sneak in a high, very high-end pack. And then the next month, I try to spread it out a little bit better. And let me know down in the comments, like, what do you think? Like, would you rather have six packs? Um, and, and maybe you don't get any that are like 50 to $60 plus, um, but you're able to kind of spread that out a little bit more. Or would you prefer uh, maybe higher upside and lower floor with the uh, the four packs and fewer cards usually as a result when you're getting four packs right so fewer total cards in the entire lineup um here needed to make sure i included at least one, one jumbo pack to provide some amount of quantity in this so this is going to come from 22 series two and in here the big chase is bobby witt and he's absolutely killing it right now um he's making the hardest contact in the league i think um, if you were to look at like batted balls above 110, he's probably like close to two times everybody else, it seems at this point. And this might be the breakout. Um, walk rate is up. I mean, the sample size is super small and it's still only like 7% walk rate versus six last year or something. But um, if the defense doesn't regress, he has a really good shot to win MVP. That guy is, is talented. We're just seeing the beginning with him. And, of course, J-Rod, O'Neal Cruz is in that as well as um, Spencer Strider, who's out for the year. And you can, it's not just the short prints of J-Rod, Witt, and Torkelson. You also have a chance to pull autographs of those guys. And, by the way, so with all the feedback that I got about the high-end lineup, what I did was I included, um, instead of bonus packs being one and six, they're one and five this month. So all of these silver packs and more and some other goodies are in uh, 
are, are in, in, included as bonus packs. All right, and then I thought it'd be cool to feature Juan Soto. He got off to a really hot start, which I didn't expect. The last three seasons, he's um, prior to this one, he started slow in April or beginning of the season. And um, that's right, April, because 2020, he actually did start hot, and that was in August. Uh, but yeah, Juan Soto and Acuna from 2018 Tops Pro Debut. I thought it'd be cool to feature a 2018 product with a chance for Soto. So high in baseball, bets. Ella de la Cruz, Witt, and Juan Soto. I mean, at the point where I finalized the lineup, I didn't know that Otani was going to be officially, it looks like, free from all allocations of betting and, you know, wiring money to, to bookies and uh, and all that stuff. But uh, Soto, uh, I felt, was, uh, was a top four guy at the time. When I was finalizing this lineup, so... Um, oh, and with 22 Bowman Sapphire, James Wood, I just looked at his numbers. His average right now in AAA, small sample size, but it's over 400. His slugging, over 700. He's got two home runs, five steals, and a walk rate of over 20%. And this is the first time that he's played in AAA games. I think he had like 85 games in AA last year, something like that. So that's a guy that could make a splash sooner rather than later. He's in this product. Sedan Raphael is in this product. Uh, we've got Jackson Chorio. Um, if this is the B version of Chorio that we're seeing right now, I think he's hitting like 250. He started out a little bit hotter, but he's already got two home runs and two steals. Like if this is like him starting slow, then then watch out um, because that could be very interesting. Uh, and um, Oswaldo Cabrera is also in 22 Sapphire. So it's not just about all about Ellie. Um, there's other guys as well. And... Let's now do original baseball. So, as I mentioned earlier, and this is the interesting thing. If it's really about value and I got the value wrong with the Chrome pack, then the base packs are in the original lineup this month. So, maybe there's too much value in original. I didn't think so at the time. But, um, yeah, those original packs uh, for paper update are in the original lineup this month. So Mookie and DeGrom, the eight card packs, but you do have a chance to pull parallels, like literally on the backs of the packs, you'll see that there are odds for things like platinum parallels, right? Not going to get blacks or, or clears in the retails, retail packs, but you can get a, a lot of other stuff. Um, next up is going to be 2018 Bowman Retail. So this is going to get you a shot at that elusive Shohei Otani pitching pose rookie, chrome rookie autograph. I think you can only pull the green from retail. Uh, but in addition to that, you've got Luis Robert, who's on the IL now. Corbin Burns, his first Bowman autograph, is in this product. Raphael Devers has a rookie card autograph in this product. Andres Jimenez has his first prospect card in this product, and he started out really hot. Um, so maybe we'll see a little bit something closer to 2022 uh, from him. And then Hunter Green, who started out healthy at least and uh, thrown hard. Next up, we've got 2019 Tops Update um, hobby. And in this, we've got Mr. Will Smith. We've got Tatis rookie debut. We've got Vlad. Uh, Austin Riley is probably the big guy at this point. Luis Arias. Luis Arias, I think he went like 0 for 5 or 0 for 6 on opening day. That was funny. He doesn't usually do that. Next up, we've got what I believe will be one of the top risers in, in wax values over the next 30 to 120 days. 2020 Bowman Hobby. So first Bowman Chrome Auto possibilities of Bobby Witt and Anthony Volpe, who's absolutely killing it right now. I think he was on base four or five times today. Today's Sunday. And his out was like a line drive to center field or something. So looks like this guy, I mean, I didn't I didn't believe it, but he changed his swing. Whenever somebody makes tweaks in, in, in spring training, even if it does yield results in spring training, it's hard for me to buy into it until I see it in games. But if you think about it, last year he went 20-20. Everything else was bad aside from that. But that's really his floor. His floor is 2020. If he can be, if he can add on to that and play gold glove caliber defense, this guy could 
possibly like you look at like how Dustin Pedroia won an MVP. Now back then we voted based on different things, but like he has the ability to put up a seven WAR. So I'm not gonna say that he's an outperform a healthy Judge or or Soto across 162 games, and he's not impacting the ball that well yet. I guess that's the knock on him. But I mean, this is a guy that had 150 to one odds on FanDuel to win MVP a few days ago, which is kind of crazy. Like you think, I mean probably won't do it he probably won't get there he probably won't have the power or something but um and this is probably just part of a a hot start more than anything but you think his chances of winning mvp are more than one percent right now uh that's what i would think anyways maybe it's like one and a half percent all right next up we're going with 2020 tops chrome um it's between this and another product and i'm just like f it let's do this one jordan starting out really strong um I mean, he's dominating left-handed pitching and right-handed pitching. That's, you know, that's par for the course for, for Jordan. Luis Robert Bobachette off to a little bit of a slow start. Next up, we've got 21 Topps Chrome Jumbo. So 5 of 12 will get an autograph and actually a rookie autograph because they, they changed that around in 2022. Um, and, and the top players there, Jared Kelnick, he's started off hot. I, I didn't, <laughs> surprisingly, it was terrible in the spring. Uh, his autograph's in here. He doesn't have a base card in here. We, we thought he had a short print, but it never showed up. Jazz Chisholm, uh, Andres Jimenez again, and uh, Alec Bohm, and Logan Gilbert. Uh, that's that's a dark horse AL Cy Young candidate, and he's still standing, which is nice. Next up, we've got 22 tops heritage high number. If you guys are looking to like open wax to have a good time, you can still buy these things for 50 bucks. Um, solid product. Yes, they printed it to the moon or more than, you know, heritage of previous years probably, but it, it's it's still a solid product and uh, you get decent value out of this. So Bobby Witt Jr., we've got J-Rod, we've got C.J. Abrams, who started off really hot. Uh, I think he's already got at least three home runs. Spencer Strider's in here too. Uh, and then a similar checklist with 22 tops update so really hitting bobby witt hard this is the third bobby witt chase in the original lineup and that's going to be with j-rod as well as abrams and royce lewis Jeez, when's that guy going to return probably second half next up in the last pack is going to be 23 heritage so 22 heritage high number and we've got 23 heritage corbin carroll adley rushman michael harris Started off really strong. Gunnar Henderson. Volpe has got a short print in here. Riley Green, Francisco Alvarez, and Josh Young Otto. All right. Now let's get through football quickly. We've got two products that have never been featured before with football. And we're going to start with 2006 Topps Chrome, Brady, seventh year refractors, uh, Devin Hester, Reggie Bush, Jay Cutler, AJ Hawk, Brandon Marshall, Vince Young. Next up, we've got 16 Optic Retail from Megas. That's Tyree Kill, Dak Prescott, and Derek Henry. Next up, we're doing a lot of 2017 stuff, so let's go right back to that. 17 John Russ Retail with Mahomes, McCaffrey, and Cooper Cup. A couple 2022 products, Blasters. So retail packs from Blasters of Contenders. And 2020 Mosaic, Joe Burrow. Tua, Jalen Hurts, uh, Herbert, and some fantastic receivers like uh, CeeDee Lamb and Justin Jefferson. Next up, we've got 21 Prism Megas from these square mega boxes. I know there's a few different types. I don't really know which ones are better. <laughs> but T-Law Fields, Chase, and Amon Raw St. Brown. And then never before been featured... Tease this on Facebook. 23 Bowman Chrome University Sapphire. Top uh, polls here are going to be Caleb Williams, Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, Marvin Harrison Jr., and Sanders. And then the last pack is going to be coming from first ever featured 23 Don Russ Hobby, Stroud, Richardson, Bryce Young, Will Levis, Nakua, Jordan Addison, Bijan Robinson, Jameer Gibbs. All right, guys, that's basically it. Um, last thing, and I should have brought this up earlier, but 
if you are a subscriber or you made a one-time purchase, it doesn't really matter. If you don't like the lineups when you see them, let me know between when I release the lineups, which is lately it's been between the 10th and like the 13th of the month. Let me know between then and like the 15th before I ship these things out. And if you want a refund, that's completely fine, right? And you will you won't lose your subscription. Um, I completely understand if you don't like the lineup, for whatever reason, um, I won't be offended. I actually appreciate the feedback because even though we've been doing this for, geez, how long? Five years and four months. Uh, sometimes I make mistakes, right? I don't have... Uh, I don't have a swath of people to, to vet my lineups with. There's no approval. It's just me. It's a one-man show, and sometimes I might not get it right. Um, and uh, and the best people to, to give me feedback on this, they're not going to be my the friends in all the card chats I'm in. They're not going to be random people on social media. It's going to be you guys, right? It's going to be fans of the channel, people that really know modern baseball, people that open wax, and my customer base. So there it is. Um and uh, I'll continue to make improvements and continue to make this thing better for everybody. So that's it. Good luck with your breaks, guys. Again, these are completely sold out. So if you want a one-time purchase or subscription, then you're going to have to wait till the first of the month in May. And uh, that's it, guys. I'll try to ship these out tomorrow, Monday, as much or as many as I possibly can. Filmington out. Take care.